Mark Wagman here, Managing Director uh, at MediaLink and running our data and technology solutions practice. I've got the pleasure today of talking with uh, Spectrum Reach's Chief Marketing Officer and Senior Vice President of Marketing, Michael Guth. Uh, how are you doing, Michael? Doing great. Doing great. Excited uh, to have a conversation. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, I don't think it's fair to talk about kind of television without thinking about all the transformation that's happening in today's market. And I think, um, you know, the last couple of years with respect to COVID and, and, and being at home has really bring, brought kind of this convergence of all screens and top of mind and, and kind of, you know, first thing of, of everybody thinks about here. Um when you think about kind of all the things that are going on right now in the world of of, of uh, marketing and, and, and the ad industry at large and the multi-billion dollars that flow through this marketplace today, right? Wh what do you think that number one issue that you see today top of mind amongst amongst the clients and, and customers that you speak with? Just one. You know, Just one. It, it's, Just uh, one. It's funny. We, we talk about this. We talk about this a lot. Um, and and there, the industry is going through amazing transformation and we sort of know that you know at the end of the day though the the challenge is still the same you know how do you reach your customer in the most effective and efficient way possible like that's you know, the upfront was all about historically you know limited inventory buy a lot be efficient so that you could target in really interesting ways the problem now is and i guess the number one issue is what reach means what effective means and what efficient means has changed completely from the consumer perspective, from you and I at home or our children or friends and family, this convergence is happening today, right? My eight-year-old yep. doesn't really understand, right, the difference between uh, what he sees on the screen and where it comes from. He is more concerned about, obviously, the content itself. You touch on nomenclature. Um, why do you think, you know, it sounds like you guys are obviously ahead of the game here a little bit in terms of, of bringing that together for the marketer and making it easy for him or her to transact. But what's holding us back more holistically? There's, there's two different businesses and I'm going to use the word legacy, although it's interesting when you talk about digital as a legacy uh, form of media, right? But, yeah. but, you know, when you go back to effectiveness and efficiency, there were two different models, two different transaction approaches that were built because people consume them differently. We measured them differently. And so as an advertiser, you want to work with an agency, you want to work with partners who are experts in those pieces. And so the way you bought, the way you measured, the way that you assessed, the creative that you put onto it was different. And so we have different folks that are experts in those things. And, and, and as an advertiser, that's how you became efficient and, and effective. Uh, you talk about nomenclature. It's funny, when we try to do research right now and we talk about uh, exploring with our, our customers and consumers uh, about the power of multi-screen, it's hard to explain. People see this television. Right. They don't, they're not thinking about how and where and why it's that's they're watching the content and whatever device uh, that they're looking at, at at that moment. So we're trying to still sort through those, those pieces. Um, what we have to do as an industry and what we've started to do with Spectrum Reach is, is begin to respond to what our advertising customers are going to want, which is how do I transact in a multi screen world? How do I make it as easy and seamless as possible without losing that expertise that I had along the way? Talk to me a little bit about your partnership strategy um, within Spectrum Reach and, and, and how you guys think about working with the right set of tools, the right set of external partners to deliver, to your point, what the marketer eventually you know, uh, cares about from that perspective. Yeah, we, we, think, about it, we think about it all the time. And, and really, you know, we think about partnership in two ways, one of which is how we can assemble the right amount of partners to deliver turnkey solutions to our advertisers, right? And, and then the second way is, is, is how do we really think about partnership on behalf of the larger, the greater good, the overall industry? Because, you know, our geography is, is significant, but it's not national. And so how do we sort of pull those things together in a way that makes sense? So, so on, the, on the advertiser side, again, it goes back to reach effectiveness, you know, and efficiency. So from a reach, it's, it's taking that you know, aggregated the identified data that we have, but appending it with um, the experience and the epsilons and the things like that to make sure that we have a, a full set. Um, from a reach standpoint as well, it is uh, adding not just our own inventory, as we sort of said earlier, but also our affiliate partners. And from a streaming standpoint, um, streaming partners as well, in addition to our Spectrum TV app. You know, from a uh, 
measurement effectiveness standpoint, you know, we partner with companies like uh, BlockRef uh, and uh, TV Squared to really develop for the first time uh, a multi-screen deterministic attribution platform. So when you're looking at attribution and does my advertisement drive behavior to a website, you know, historically you've looked at it from a linear standpoint and you've looked at it from a digital streaming. Now you don't have to do that. And so uh, a company like BlockRef um, helps us work with partners to sort of match and activate, as you know. Um, and then TV Square's got some really interesting tools to help us uh, really understand effectiveness and attribution from that standpoint. You know, you, you touch on a little bit there, which is uh, kind of, you know, the secret sauce potentially being a little bit of, you know, all of the above, right? Combining the right things that matter to a brand, whether it's first party data, whether it's privacy compliant, third party data. Um, wh wh what do you guys think in that space, right? Is that a sure. world where marketers need to double down and make every impression addressable and build out their identity spine? Or is this somewhere that they can lean in with somebody like you guys to help them kind of navigate the data environment in today's world? Well, look, look, I think it's both. I, I, yeah. I, it's, 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 and that's the hard part. That's, that's what is so amazing about the world that we're in right now. And mm -hmm. what is so frustrating and challenging is, is that the answer could be yes to all of those things. So, yeah. so from a data standpoint, yes, you know, we are so proud of, of not only the quality of our first party data, but also the fact that we talk about it as, as is de-identified and aggravated. And, and we've been privacy compliant all the way through. And, and, and so then you add that to third party. But then each of our advertisers have their own sets of data um, and need to be equally as privacy compliant about that. And so a company like BlockRef allows both to sort of come in together, um, maintain and preserve that, but still be effective as you move forward. So I think having sort of those intermediaries um, become a really, really important important piece as we sort of go go through this next phase. And so that's that's part of it is, is to sort of understand each of the different data sets and how do you sort of move them together, right? The second piece, the second piece of it is, again, from a secret source is how do you do something with that? So now you have a better understanding of your customer. You have a better understanding of their wants and needs. So what? How do you how do you do that? So that becomes those frictionless transactions. And so now whether it's programmatic or whether it is just easier ways to do multi-screen. So now you have that, right? So then the question becomes, now what, right? Now that, now that we've done all of that and now the entire playing field and whether that's two, five or 10 years, you know, the entire playing field is all using data in smart ways. It now comes down to context. You know, it comes down to really understanding what you do with that. Now, to your point, whether you're a small business and you only operate in a series of DMAs or a larger national coast-to-coast -coast business, right, who is targeting specific products and regions, that kind of idea of hyper-local at scale, I think, is one of those things that isn't, isn't going away anytime soon. No, and in fact, it's going to become even more important because we, we're going yeah. to figure this technology out, right? Yeah. We're going to, and, and, and you, there are great strides. Every day there's new announcements. And so then what happens um, you need to be able to deliver that right message against that uh, a consumer. What, what are you guys thinking in terms of measurement, specifically to your point before around the, this kind of hyper local with scale uh, narrative, right? Yep. How does measurement play into that as well? It would be amazing <laughs> if there was a single source of truth. The reality of it is we're not there yet. And, and there's lots of different uh, experimentation and understanding from a from an advertiser standpoint, from an agency, uh, and from a distributor standpoint, it's, we're evolving, and, and you see it every yeah. single day. From from our perspective, we're excited about Comscore, and, and we expect that they'll continue to, you know, uh, do exciting things with us. But but uh, it's still very much uh, an exploration for everybody. I think. Well, listen, thanks, Michael. I think that's a great place to, uh, to end the conversation on that big, hairy topic of measurement and how you guys at Spectrum Reach are kind of helping marketers, big and small, navigate this new world of television. You bet.